My name is Cristina Saez Blasquez and I'm going to present Understanding Engineering Real Projects as an Innovative Learning Activity, a case study in the bachelor's degree in Electrical Engineering. As part of this presentation, we are going to see the following contents. Let's start by the introduction section. One of the main functions of technical universities is to provide future engineers with the specific skills to develop technical and technological solutions. In this sense, courses can be oriented to a certain learning approach that um, helps students to apply the knowledge acquired during their academic training and contact the reality. In this sense, this research presents a novel methodology based on the survey le learning approach through a practical project to allow students to acquire the necessary skills for facing future projects to demonstrate the real capacity of students when dealing with this kind of situation and to improve the student personal development. The expected learning outcomes of this activity can be seen in the screen. The activity has been conceived for the course titled Power Lines a Superstation established in the Electrical Engineering Bachelor of the University of Leon. The specific basic and learning outcomes are specifi specified here and they are all regulated by the order seen 351 from the year 2009. Materials and methods section, we can see that the activity design starts by the analysis of the need of the project. The student must calculate the electrical needs and the preliminary power line design thanks to different tools that will be explained by the professor, including geoinformation, satellite images, drone and geographical information systems. Finally, we will have the power line layout designed, so we will perform the mechanical and electrical calculation with a specific software and the final project evaluation. As example of this proposed activity, we have selected the municipality of Galapagar in Madrid, a 20 kV high voltage overhead power line, and we have calculated the generated and consumption point. The generation will be the municipality electrical substation and the consumption the Nervi Urban Center. In the initial design of the power line, we will use the free access Google Earth geospatial tool in which the student will be able to design the line, taking into account the different conditions of the ground. The next steps will be to obtain the notes information in the same free application so we will have the coordinates and the height of the different points that constitute the power line. From this information we will calculate the line through the use of DemoLex software which we will include the digital model and ground nodes in the software and we will perform the electrical and mechanical design. Finally, we will have the power line layout in which we will calculate all the electrical projects. We will obtain the mechanical and electrical parameters, the power line layout throughout longitudinal profiles and the different structures that constitute the line. The final point will be the verification of the power line. The final section address the discussion and the conclusion in which we can say that the methodology here proposed is versatile for its implementation in different regions and using different tools for planning a medium and high voltage overhead power line. It brings the student closer to the reality of a technical engineering project and improves their skills in multiple disciplines. It also combines your information technologies within the application of a specific software that will enrich the future professional career of the students. Finally, we will want to mention that future works are expected to address experimental education research to obtain the educational performance indicators and the students' perspective about the learned competencies. Thanks for your attention.